Captain on the bridge. All right, Caps. We are back on the bridge here, and I wanted to do another follow-up regarding the free stuff we got for our 12th anniversary. One of them being the E6 coupon, which is right here in my inventory. Right there. So it's a 100% discount coupon for Tier 6 ship. And this coupon allows you to claim a single Tier 6 Starship in the Zen store. So what I wanted to do is go over some of the ships that I recommend. Now, these ships are not necessarily going to be the best top tier. They're more for Space Barbie, just like my Tier 5 recommendation video. So that said, we're going to do it a little differently from the last one. I was a little bit more Fed heavy because, well, I'm usually more of a Fetty boy. This time we'll throw in some of the things I'll recommend on the Romulan, KDF, and then of course we'll end off with the Fed stuff. So first start with the Romulan side. So the first ship that we will go over here is the Malum, which is your tier 6 version of the Talis. It's a great ship, great nimble ship, and of course iconic. You can use the old TOS skin on this. Of course, this I personally would probably use the TOS style. This is not necessarily my favorite, or actually the Enterprise, and that the Enterprise doesn't have this little bridge up here. Just kind of a more of a throwback to the TOS, more rounded off there. But a great ship. I do have it. I own it. As you can see, it's available. And if this was a ship that you wanted just to get the TOS vibes in, no problem. Now, do I will also mention some of these ships that I recommend do come in a bundle and or a legendary pack. This one itself actually comes in a bundle with the Federation and KDF versions of their escort, which is the core, the Bird of Prey and the Valiant, which is the Defiant. But you can buy this individually. Now this again does come in the legendary version, which you can use the Picard skin that was seen on screen. Great ship nonetheless. You again, you were just looking for a tier six ship to perform well in any of the content we have going on here. And so this would do well. Next one, we'll go with the Morgu. Morgu is the Valdor, essentially. And it is a great ship. One of my favorite Romulan designs. Not the Morgu skin, but the actual Valdor skin, which you can use. When I first saw this ship helping out the Enterprise, it was such a cool sight to see another updated Romulan sort of skin, uh, ship. Now, we did do a previous video on this and it performed really well. Now, I'm anticipating a legendary version to come out, but as you can see, I do have this, or I bought this a long time ago. Having said that, if a legendary version came out of it, I get it. So there's that. Next up is the Dekelra Battlecruiser, which is the Derpidex. I mean, Jadaradex. Typical 404 cruiser, but it does have now an updated skin. Personally, I will be doing another build on this in, a in the future just to show what I can do with it and just to have fun on the Romulan side of things. It's a Derpidex. It's very iconic. When you saw this first go up against the Enterprise D, it was a sight to see and it was very menacing at the time and it still kind of holds that weight in terms of its aesthetics great ship this does come in a legendary flavor as well i have it this actually is paired up with the next ship that we're going to recommend which is the there you go so it's the dread not actually so we'll just go dread not 
Now, the semi, this semi comes in three flavors, your tactical edge and sai. For me, I would just always go tack heavy regardless. So I, that would be called the Kopesh, which is this one right here. So regardless, you can still use the skin from the original Nemesis and they've updated the skin captains and it looks fabulous. And like I was saying previously, this ship comes with the Derpidex in a legendary bundle of both the ships. But if you were, again, just looking to get the ship just for the looks, just for to, to have a Simi, it's a great ship regardless, and it would do well. I built this both with cannons and with torps, and it performed fine. Now, as you can see, I don't have this here, so this is what it's going to look like when you want to try to apply the CS coupon. Make sure you have this in your inventory, and then you'll see this coupon 100% off. There you go. Now on the Romulan side, the last ship that I will actually recommend on here would be the Fate Intel Warbird. I got this from the Delta Pack Rising, or the Delta Rising Pack, I should say. And the reason why I'm recommending this ship is because it was featured in the Star Trek Picard comics. So to me, in my head, this is canon. And just like the Valdor, this almost took it to another level, in my opinion. And it has a very, very futuristic vibe to the Valdor, and that's why I like it. I have one of my tunes in this ship, and it, it's great just to look at, because it does have some really, really good hard angles on it, but it's still kind of a very Star Trek feel to it, or very Romulan feel to it. So those are the Romulan ships. We'll head off to the KDF ones. First we'll head is the core. As I mentioned earlier, this is in a pack with the Malum and the Valiant. The tier six skin is great looking, but of course for myself, I would just use the original skin of the Bird of Prey. Very quite capable ship. And this does come with a quantum warhead module. Having said that, originally when this was released first, it came with a photon quantum warhead module but because people were complaining captains were complaining that the the valiant had photons when it should have quantums when they change it to quantum it changed this one too but it's a great console and it does hit pretty hard again if you're just looking for a great bird of prey to get i'd recommend the core if you were not planning on getting the bundle now this does have a legendary version as well so keep that in mind, the legendary version comes with the Enterprise Bop skin. But again, like I said, when I use the ship, I use the original Bop. So there's that. Second one up is the Varal, which is the tier six of Vorcha. I do like this upgraded tier six skin from the Vorcha. It looks very, very updated, very Klingon looking. And this ship does actually come with a console that I will mention, which is the, as here, the Temporal Trajectory Shifter. So what this does, it actually does give you some weapon haste. Firing speed, ability to recharge, defensive ratings. It's a great console to use across the board. Just because, again, if you have are building up your consoles to work up to a certain console that you need, this is a great placeholder. Again, this also, as you can see here, there is a legendary version of this too. This also comes in a bundle with the Narendra, I believe. But... Again, if you're just looking for a Vorcha just to add to your collection for free, I would suggest this one. You don't want to get the bundle. So there's that. Next one, we'll head over to the Neg Tev. Again, I will have to say that this skin, this upgraded skin here, the T6 version, is really good. I like it. I like it a lot. It almost makes it more compact, kind of squattens the profile, and makes it a little bit more sleeker. And if I were to use this ship, 
I wouldn't mind using this, even though I love to kind of tend to use an original skin like the Negvar. I would definitely have no problems. And I have actually used this because you can see as I do own this. So there's that. Next up, we have the Karak. Now, this is the tier six version of the Moog. Now, the Moog skin is what I would use on this Karak. But this Karak tier six Battlecruiser comes with a trait that is essentially almost... A lot of people say essential. You don't really need it, but it does help you in performance if you are looking to up your performance of your ship as it has the emergency weapon cycle trait. While this is, trait is active, emergency power to weapons will also reduce weapon power cost and increase your weapon fire rate moderately. So gives you haste, gives you minus power reduction, keeping your weapons hot. It's a great, great ship. And just to show you what the Moog looks like, that is it. When I first saw this, this is probably one of the first KDF cryptic designs to, that I really, really loved. It's very aggressive, looks very Klingon, and you can use that on the Karak. Nothing wrong with this skin. I would just prefer the Moog. So there's the Karak. And of course, we have the... called the Bordeskew ones. So we'll go... Yeah, there you go. So they're called the Battle Cruisers. So there's the Kalis. Again, coming in your Tactical Eng and Psy variants, I would just go with the actual Tactical variant. I believe this is this War 1. But again, going to the board is skew this is this is another skin that i absolutely love so i would just slap this in if you wanted just a tier six version of it for me personally i would use a board i do have the ship i just bought the ship in the shipyard for i believe it's just dilithium or maybe fleet credits but again it's a great ship and it's the flagship here for the kdf and star trek online so Again, that comes in three flavors there, the Tactical Engine Psy. Uh, another mentionable here for the KDF side is the Mod Ha. Your tier six, actually. Mod Ha Raptor. Now, because I have the Delta Rising pack, this does come with it, but this is a great ship to have because of its console. Now the console is locked to this ship, but it looks like a disruptor machine gun. It looks really, really good. So there is that. And if you don't have the Delta Rising pack, definitely, definitely I'd recommend getting this for the KDF side if you kind of wanted an updated escort wise for the KDF side. Now, as I've mentioned before, Captains, I'm more of a Fetty boy. So this list is gonna be a little long, but we'll try to go to it as best as we can. So first one up here is the Appalachia Blockade Runner. I lovingly refer to this as the T6 Steam Runner. This ship came out recently and it's like almost known as a torpedo platform starter kit because not only is it suited for torpedo builds because of its command abilities, it also has the Tricobalt Tear Launcher, which I use frequently on my builds. Caps check out some, especially those torpedo builds that I do. And not just myself, this is used in a high end. And it also has a trait that actually gives you shield penetration and hull penetration. So it's a really, really great ship. And for me personally, I was not a fan of the Steam Runner. But seeing this, I actually, when I used it, I used the T6 skin. It, it just looked a lot more sleeker. I, I just wish that this deflector would be just kind of raised above. So everything fine, I would just love that above there as an option because I think I saw a fan design on the internet where it showed that the deflector sitting above the hull there when you're looking at it from the fore. But great ship, very, very nimble. Takes a beating as well. There's that. Then we have the Da Vinci. Now, this ship is, I don't know why it's saying, no results found, but it's right here. Oh, uh, 
There you go. This is the T6 Sabre. The Sabre is, has become one of my favorites. I never really liked it initially, but it's grown on me. For me, this looks like a horseshoe crab for some reason. The tier six skin, but I do like the deflector on it. Now, this did really well when I did a build on it and took it into, I think, a three-man ISC. Performance-wise, it did really good. But again, if you're just looking for a ship to add to your collection and very, very capable of any content, this would be a ship to consider, especially if you like escorts. So that's a Da Vinci, which is also, like I said, the Saber. Next, we have the Advanced Research. I can spell right which is your Nebula. This, I have not done a build yet on it. I intend to, but I do love the weapons pod on this. I don't necessarily like the Andromeda look, which will go out, which is the sort of tier six skin of the galaxy. But with the tier six, again, with, and with any tier six, if you have, you can actually interchange all the parts that you, that come with the ship. So, but this is again the nebula and i would use this with the tng skin which of course is one of my favorite ships because it's from the tng so there's that we also have the alita In my last video i mentioned that this com the tier 5 version came with a console that's is it a torpedo point defense, which you can put on this, but you have to have the tier five version. There's a huge push to make this a legendary version. If they did that, instant buy, instant buy. The Alita skin is not my favorite, but definitely I'd slap on the Akira skin and call it a because the Akira skin is one of my favorite. And again, a lot of the Canon skins they've already updated. So they look really, really good. That's the Alita slash Akira. Next up would be, a, what we were talking about earlier, the Andromeda, which is the Tier 6 Galaxy. Again, this is not my favorite skin of the Galaxy, but you can again use the classic Galaxy skin, which is no problem there. And with that, you have a good looking TNG ship and probably just my favorite Star Trek ship of all time. And again, the previous consoles that come on any of the Tier 5 versions, you can use on the Tier 6. So there is the Andromeda. Go with the Arbiter. So this is not necessarily a favorite ship of mine, but it does come with the same trait as the... Um, Corrected, which is the emergency weapon cycle. It is a very, very capable ship. A lot of, a lot of captains love this tier five ship when it came out. And of course, they went up and grabbed the tier six when it came out. I recommend it. Definitely, you can do some kit bashing, but also this does share the same sort of family of skins as the Inquiry, which is seen in Picard season two. So if by chance you have that ship, which is an R and D ship, you can actually use the skin from the Arbiter, the Inquiry, and the the Tier 5 version. So it's a very, very capable ship in my opinion. But as you can see, I bought it. Now this does come in a bundle. That's why I got it. But for the most part, a very good trait that it comes with so that you can use it for most, if not all, your energy builds ships there so that's the arbiter now we're gonna go to the clark multi-mission this came out recently last almost at the end of the year there we call this the miranda kowski because they were able to not only give this ship the ability to use the multi-mission command skin as you can see right here but also the Miran the malakowski and miranda so the kit bash ability of this is Unreal. I have seen some awesome, awesome kit bashes with this ship. So you have that with that. And of course, now I will also throw in here the Reliant class, which is both of them are essentially the Miranda. 
what will differ from them is a specialization. If I had to choose between the two, I would go with the multi-mission one, which is, like I said, the Miranda Kowski. But again, both if you're just looking for the skins, go with whatever flavor you like in terms of the seating specialization. I don't particularly have a real you know, the ship. I love the ship. Don't get me wrong. I did two videos on this. This can the recent one that I did was the one with the centaur skin. I believe I used a legendary version. And again, keep in mind there is a legendary version of this as well for the Miranda. So the Miranda has been shown a lot of love here just recently. So there's that. Next one I want to is the Europa or the ship that we saw on Discovery. Now, this is a little different from your standard Federation design. Usually the bridge is on the saucer here, but they've actually moved it up here, which I initially thought was a roll bar like the Miranda. Could you imagine if they included this in the skins that you can kit bash with the Miranda Kowski? Oh my gosh. But I didn't like this ship at first, but having messed with it here and there, it, it, it really performs well, in my opinion. It is a command ship. It's not the most optimal, but to be honest with you, Caps, I got it just because of the looks. I'm a huge fan of four nacelle designs. Not all of them, but mostly. And this is one. And of course, again, this came from Star Trek Discovery. So if you wanted to get a ship from that era, it is a great one. That's a Europa. And then we're going to go with next one is the Grissom. Now, this Grissom does come in a bundle too as well. This is the T6 Oberth with the multi uh, Clark. But this is the Oberth. I got it with that bundle. This also does come with a high end console, the phased space membrane. So if you wanted to have also a console on top of the Oberth, if you like the Oberth. I can't, I don't say I don't, but it, there's a memes about the ship. We're not going to go over that. It's not the video for that. Regardless, you see the console that comes with this ship on a lot of high end torpedo builds because of the bonuses it gives you. It gives you resistance and a huge, huge damage rating, uh, damage rating based on your aux. But again, it's a T6 Oberth. You can still buy this individually if you wanted the Oberth or the Battle Canoe, as some of us lovingly call it. Next up is the Lafayette. Now, the Lafayette is the New Orleans. Again, it, they're using the Andromeda-type skin on this. Not my favorite. It does come with a very good console, uh, in my opinion, that still gets used today, which is the hyper-focusing trinary arrays. This lowers the damage resistance rating of your target, and it takes down target pretty fast in a well-coordinated team. But if you're one of those captains, TNG captains that love those ships that came from the Battle of War 359, which I know a lot of captains, they absolutely love the ship. Using the ship too, it's very, very nimble. And like I said, it's from the TNG era, so you, you can't really go wrong. Again, if you're going for just to have the ship in your collection, by all means, Caps, this is a great ship to have. Next up is the Narendra, which again, this was in the Enterprise D meeting room on the wall because this is a ship skin literally made by Andrew Probert. And they put it in the game. And when they put this in game, this is one of my favorite skins. One of my favorite skins. It just oozes TNG, just oozes TNG, especially if you put like the TNG skin on it. I actually use this and the ambassador skin. So it can use the ambassador, but keep in mind, this also does come in a legendary bundle. But if you wanted just to have an, you know, an ambassador and or Narendra, here you go. And again, this also does come with a very good console. Uh, sorry, trait. History will remember, which is a very good trait for tanking in the game. Definitely a lot of captains get the ship for the trait itself. Uh, for the most part, it also does really, really good 
I think I did a build video on this tanking and yeah, it performed really well. Temporal Trajectory Shifter is a good console. It's not that it's bad. I Again, for my purposes of playing this game, I more play for looks. This is what I'm more pushing for is the looks, but do keep in mind, like I said, this does come in a legendary form. So there's the Narendra. We're going to go now with the Star Cruisers. Now, this is the Odyssey right here. Now, this is the ship that you see me in right now. Big, huge shout out to Thomas who just revamped the Yorktown. I didn't like the original Odyssey, but with the Yorktown revamp, and now that Thomas even gave it another go over, this has become one of my favorite ships. And this is the Enterprise in Stowe's timeline. But as you can see there, Captain, it has all the right looks. At first, I didn't like the split neck, but that is canon. Oberth, it's a thing. It's not a new, new design. But what Thomas did with this is just amazing. And it's made me love it. Now, for myself, I use a different saucer configuration. Because this comes in a legendary version. Having said that, that legendary version is locked behind the 10th anniversary legendary bundle, which has all the, mostly of the hero ships. But again, if you're just looking for this ship, that particular skin that I pointed out, that is included with the tier six coupon that you can get, it's the science star destroyer, uh, cruiser, star destroyer, star cruiser, which comes with that skin that you see that I'm using right now. But again, there is a tactical and engineering flavor. So this could just be, again, something that you're getting the skin for, go for the science star cruiser or the Yorktown class. Okay, next up is the Phantom Intel Escort. This is a great ship too. Again, this came with a Delta Rising pack. I like the ship because it almost felt like when it came out of the time, like an upgraded Defiant. And if you're into the whole Section 31 thing, I've role played in my head that this was a Section 31 ship and I might do it again. This also comes with a Lance, a really good Lance that I wish wasn't ship locked to this ship only because I would put that on my Galaxy X, no problem. But quite capable ship. We might do another build video on this uh, in the near future. You can configure this. Now, this comes, like I said, in that Delta Rising pack. If you get this in the pack, you can actually mix and max, uh, match pieces of this ship with the cruiser and the science that comes in a, in the whole Delta Rising pack. But this is not a bad ship. Like I said, it's a very, it's very quite capable ship escort in Star Trek Online. That's the Phantom, and we're going to go to the Pathfinder here. The Pathfinder, of course, is the Tier 6 Intrepid. With the Intrepid, or the Pathfinder, they gave it this skin, not my favorite, so I tend to just use the Intrepid skin or the Voyager skin. Again, just if you want the skin and get badgeability with this Pathfinder, a lot of people like the Pathfinder. You can go ahead and get this one. Again, it's free. We're talking about a free coupon if you had one to use laying around if you had all the ships mentioned above or not even if you're just starting you want hero ships end game type ships this is what this video is for just recommending things for mostly space barbie so there's the pathfinder which is the intrepid or pa or voyager next up is the shran this is a fun ship this has full pilot maneuvers so you can skip across a map easily very fast but this also does come with a good console that you see me use a lot on twitch bridge which is the graviton displacer it's like a portable gravity well <laughs> like you shoot it out in front of you and then ships get pulled in and then they start juggling it's hilarious it's hilarious it's a control console that a lot of the high-end runs use but this is also another ship that's from the discovery era so not only do you have the t6 version skin you also have a discovery skin that you can use personally when i was using this i was using that skin the tier six it's a great ship it's a fun ship so it depends on how you build it out but it's again quite capable so that's the shran we're going to head off to the Valiant. 
which is the Defiant. Like I said, this comes in a three-pack bundle. The Defiant, or the Valiant, the Core, and the Malum. Now, just it, word of advice, Captains, if you buy one of these ships outside the bundle, you will not be able to buy the bundle again. So just keep that in mind. And of course, this does have a legendary version with it. But you can still use the base defined skin, which I do. This comes with that quantum warhead module. It doesn't actually shoot two quantums. It shoots like six charges of like mini quantums. And they're like missiles. So they kind of like squiggly to the enemy. Yes, they squiggly to the enemy. But again, it's a defiant. If you just wanted a defiant for free and you weren't, you know, planning on getting the bundle, I'd recommend the Valiant. Next up, we have one of my personal favorites, the Titan. Now, I've raved about this ship in a lot of my build videos because of the console that comes with, which is the opening salvo. The opening salvo is actually what I use in my head for my head cannon on my Defiant as the double quantum launcher. So not only is you get a very, very good ship in the Titan, which you can use, of course, the Titan skin, the original cannon skin, but you, you can have a lot of kit bash ability with this in terms of Space Barbie and then the console itself you can use it on any ship that's what you know, i love about this you can use that on any ship but again we all know that in lower decks this was Riker's ship so when this came out definitely i got it the first day and fortunately i was able to use a free tier 6 coupon ship so again this is really really high on the list but there's so many on the list thought i'd let you captains make that decision based on your personal flavor of ship because my likes may not necessarily be yours but at least you can hear my two ecs on which ships that i like so that's a titan and get to the eu model class which is of course the galax and again they're using the andromeda skin not my favorite skin, but again, you can use the Galax skin used in All Good Things. One of my other favorite, again, I have a lot of favorite ships, okay? One of my other favorite ships because when I first saw the ship decloak in All Good Things, oh, wow, my nerdism went up. So for a free ship here, if you had nothing else to get, and if you were looking and eyeing at the Galax, this is a tier six version of it, the Amato. Next up, we have one of my <laughs> favorites, the Equinox or the Nova. You see me, Captains, in a bunch of the videos that I use that I use this ship a lot. I was very excited for this. I did the review for it. I did the blog review until the day it came out, and I just used it last night. It's, again, this, I was using this ship back when I first started playing 2014. I deemed it the flagship of star trek battles because it did so many things for me it did the dps role the support role the control role the healing role just fine and actually this nova i'm using the mirror tier 5 version on my free-to-play account on console ps4 such a capable ship and now you have a pilot version of this in tier 6 and you can get this with your t6 coupon so I put this up there in terms of recommendations because the Nova is such a... And they remastered it, and it looks absolutely ridiculously beautiful. Just saying. So that's the Equinox. We'll go with another sort of surprise for me. Now, this is the Buran. This was the Cardanus in Discovery and was Lorca's ship. Now, this is a tier 6 version. They don't show the tier 5, uh, the, the tier 6 skin. They don't show the cannon skin. But with the cannon skin, it is the forward and celled one. And for me, the configuration I like about this is the using everything Baran, but then using the Cardanus nacelles. And it just gives it a more bulky, more beefier feel to it because it is a dreadnought, right? So. And also, this is a quite capable platform for torpedoes and tanking, in my opinion. And it comes with its traits, which is a favorite of the high-end meta. 
which is, I believe, called the Unifying Engineering. And it also comes with a good, good tanking trait, if you, especially if you want to generate a threat. It comes with the Ion Storm Generator. And if you want threat, you're going to get threat with that. You are going to get threat with that. And like I said, here goes the trait, Unified Engineering. It's a trait used at the high end, but also at the very end of just playing this game through advanced CFOs. It will do fine, quite capable ship. Not as nimble, but you can kind of compensate that with using evasive maneuvers with the Condoff and, of course, the innervated impulse engines from the competition mine rep. My personal recommendation, if you get the ship, use the Buran skin with the Cardanus and the Cells. It'll look good. So there's the Buran. Now we're going to go to the Gagarin, Miracle Worker, Battle Cruiser. This is also the Shepherd from Discovery. So the Tier 6 skin, though, does look really good. This also does come with a trait of entwined tactical matrices. If you've watched any of my build videos, especially if it's a torp build, I use that trait to get to shoot out back-to-back -back torp spreads. And it's also used in high-end torpedo builds, but it's just a great trait all around. But this is also a great ship. Now, when I use this ship, I kind of go flop between the two because both of them look great. And this looks like an upside down walker, just saying. But again, it's a great ship. Recommend not only for you want a discovery ship, but also the trade itself is a really good trait. Especially if you're low on tactical stations, you can make that work for you. So there's a Gagarin. We're going to go with the uh, Hestia next which is a tier six version of the Prometheus. So the Prometheus class, of course, one of my favorites. <laughs> I mean, I've said that a lot already, but it's true. I like them all. Well, not all of them, just the ones that I like. And the tier six skin is kind of cool, but I would rather just go with the tier, uh, with the original cannon skin. This does not come with the multi-vector assault module, but if you have the tier five, you can put this on this ship. And the console that comes with it does actually have a bonus with that console, which gives like plasma fire burn or something. But again, if you just wanted the Prometheus because of its looks, this would be a ship I can recommend as well because it is a great capable ship. It also has command. Captains, you know, I love command specialization seating. It only has Lieutenant Commander, but that's good enough for me. Good enough for me because who wouldn't want a Prometheus using call emergency artillery with a pair of defiance come in to help it out. Come on now. That's Hestia. And of course, the last one here is the Fed side. The Intel Assault Cruiser, which is the Sovereign. So the tier six skin, not my fave. It looks like it has play school nacelles. But for the most part, it's a great ship. And again, if you were just looking to get the Sovereign skin, which of course they've revamped, I'd highly recommend using this. It does also come with the wide angle quantum launcher. And with that said, with the wide angle quantum launcher, it actually gives it that quantum look with the Sovereign uh, that we saw on Nemesis. So those are my top recommendations for the ships. In the C store, if you have this, if you got this, if you're still kind of wondering, as you can see, I still have it. For me personally, what I'm looking at to get, I didn't recommend it at first because I was going to leave it for last, but it's the Command Ramian Operations. Or no, sorry, the Tactical Variant. So this is a 4 4 Command Ramian ship, full command seating. I do have another coupon. I'm actually going to probably get it also with the Science Command. Warbird for the Space Barbie. I know it's a weird, silly thing to, to use a coupon on, but I'm not the first one and I won't be the last one to do that. Just getting a ship just for the sake of it looks good. So again, you can see 
you want to ship there. It has coupon 100% off. You can use that on this ship as well. This is probably the ship I'll be getting. I'm not in a rush. I have a lot of ships. So I'm just keep that in inventory. But when I pull the trigger, probably going to be this one for my ramen and tune. And then I can mess around with that. So captains, those are my recommendation for the KDF. Romulan and Federation. Of course, it's Federation heavy, and of course, it's a very awesome thing of Cryptic to do to give us these tier six coupons for free, essentially, for the 12th anniversary. And again, this ship that I'm in, of course, is the Revamp Odyssey. So, if again, you just wanted this ship here, it's free. And right now, in game, like I said, it is the Enterprise F, the flagship for the Federation. So Hopefully, Captains, you find this video helpful in making a decision on the Tier 6 ship that you want for free if you haven't made that decision. But I'd like to take this time to invite you Captains to the Twitch Bridge. We do stream nightly where we do our pew, pew shenanigans and we do have a lot of fun there with other ca like-minded Captains where we just have fun. We the Captains, at the end of the day, you're the Captain of your ship. Fly what you want and you'll be happy with whatever decision you make because if you're making it because you love something it's going to be better as opposed to forced because you need to you were told to buy a ship hopefully that, that if that makes sense so anyways we'll leave it on this note don't let them promote you don't let them transfer you don't let them do anything that takes you off the bridge of that ship because while you're there you can make a difference we'll leave there caps have a good one